Hey folks, so this is hopefully going to be a quick one. I've got a few more videos I need to take care of tonight, but um, I don't know. I, I, I got some parts for this phone and I figured I might as well film it. Um, I don't know. I Whenever I set out and do a project, I always ask myself, hey, should I film this? And then I always realize, you know, if I'm asking myself if I should film it, I should just film it and upload it. But anyway, let me know if you guys want to see more content like this. I don't know how interesting this specific video is going to be, and I normally don't do mobile stuff, but you'll see why I'm doing this. I, I'm making an exception for this. Uh, this right here is my old cell phone that I've had uh, since 2014, maybe? I don't know. It's a Huawei Honor 5X. Um, look up when it came out, that's pretty much when I bought it. The date code on the rear cover shows 2016, but the rear cover is not original to this phone, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, I already have the rear cover off of it because, bum bum bum, this battery is in awful shape. So I used this phone to film the time lapses that I used in my uh, battery comparison video. I just had this thing plugged in and sat on a tripod just literally filming for 12 plus hours at a time and it did not like that. Uh, the, the screen was bulging out so I had to pull the back cover off because I didn't want to have to replace the screen too, but got the back cover here and I got a package today in it is tons of tools that I'm not going to be using and tons of bubble wrap, but inside this bubble wrap should be a brand new battery. Indeed it is. So yeah, that looks pretty good. In hindsight, I definitely should have unplugged this battery instead of just letting it sit, but um, I at least did take some precautions. This has been in a fireproof, uh, basically a metal ammo tin since I noticed that it was having issues and since I took the rear cover off. Um, but I didn't really take it apart any further than this because I, I don't know. I wasn't too, I wasn't as worried as I should have been, but thankfully it hasn't blown up yet, so I think we're good. And, uh, well anyway, let's pop a new battery into it. So I'm going to remove the, uh, oops. Remove the SD card and SIM card trays um, before I forget. So I think, since we're not tearing the whole phone down, which I have done before, this is the third, this phone is on its third screen. I think we just need to pop this ribbon cable off. Let me get a spudger. done this before I swear okay fine we'll do it from the bottom now this phone is surprisingly easy to take apart once you've got the rear cover off there's just eight million screws but it does come apart pretty easily Oh, I should take those screws out too. Hang on. There's two screws in the bottom that uh, you would have had to remove to take this phone apart in the first place, but I put them back in there so I didn't lose them. It probably won't make a difference for taking it apart any further, but I'd rather not forget to remove them and try shoving the rear cover on. Anyway off. Comes off. Say what you will about Huawei, their phones, at least this one, is really easy to repair. Alright, we'll just let that flop in the breeze for now. Sorry. 
I always liked all these brackets. They did a really cool feature that, I, I don't know, I, I just I just love that they put these little arrows on them to indicate the orientation, because the arrows are on the front and pointing towards the top of the phone, and they're like that on every single bracket that gets removed. There's a little arrow right there. Um, I don't think there's anything on this, because this one's pretty obvious, but, okay, I guess it's just those two brackets. I think those are the only two brackets in the phone, but nonetheless, you get the point. I think it's really cool. All right, and this battery should come out pretty easily because, like I said, this phone has been through two screens already. I don't think I ever actually replaced the adhesive. Yeah. And there's this, this thick boy. Tell the difference between the old battery and the new battery. Let's, uh, no, I probably shouldn't try measuring this with my calipers, but... I know it's kind of hard to see in 2D, but if you're staring at it with both eyes, it's pretty obvious. Um, but yeah, this, this battery is not in good shape. I'm just going to drop this new one in here. Um, what do you think? Should I use some double-sided adhesive? Yeah. Let's use some adhesive. I mean, the manufacturer... Oh, wait. <laughs> There's already adhesive in here. That I never used. My thoughts on the matter as far as whether to use adhesive or not are, I mean the manufacturer clearly did for a reason and generally they know what they're doing so at least they sure as hell know more than me about building a phone. Now I don't even have to go get adhesive. Slide this in under the fingerprint reader. Hopefully I didn't ruin this ribbon cable. It's a little stretched out. <laughs> doesn't seem to be going in place the way it should. It's probably fine. I'm not going to worry about it. And I know this is a super old phone, and I already have plenty of phones, but I, it's always nice to have a spare. So I don't mind fixing something like this. Especially since the battery is so cheap and easy to get a hold of. Plus, here's something really cool that I didn't even think about until after I ordered the battery. Look at the date code on this. This battery was made... Uh, it's May, so I'm guessing that's October 12th, not December 10th. Uh, but yeah, it's it's May, so seven months ago this battery was made on um, 
I don't know, a four or five year old phone. That's pretty wicked cool. Oh. Again, I'm assuming this was here for a reason. Yeah, and there we go. Let's see if it works. Seems to work. Nice. And yeah, I know I didn't put in that SIM card, but that that SIM card hasn't been active in years, so there's no sense putting it back anyway. Hey, it still boots. Nice. Let me unlock it. What the hell's my pen? There we go. Found it. Nice. 61%. I think we're good to go. Oh. So that's nice. Now I remember why I needed to fix this phone. My authenticator's on it. <laughs> Among a few other things, but... You know. Anyway, I think that's it. Oh wait, nope, two more screws. I lied. This video would have been significantly longer if I had to pry off that back again, because it is a pain in the ass to get off the first time. And this was a brand new back when I put it on, so that's why there's no branding or anything on it. I dropped the phone and destroyed one of the corners of both the back and the front. And then I found out that parts for this phone were dirt cheap, and I've just been fixing it ever since. And yeah, it's still good. Uh, a little bit on the slow side compared to a modern phone, but... I might have to uh, blur some of that out. But hey, it's on Android 9, so that seems pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I guess I'll end that video here. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, let me know if you want me to make more content like this. I didn't think it was particularly interesting, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not the one who watches my videos. You guys are. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic night.